Hi everybody, welcome back to Karen Puzzles. Today I'm going to be doing a puzzle that I am so excited for. I've been wanting it forever and my parents got it for me for Christmas this past year and I've just been hanging on to it until I can do it on camera for all of you. So this is the Color Sphere puzzle. It is 3D. It, you know, is a rainbow, but it makes an actual 3D sphere. I don't really know what to expect going into this. I don't know how big it's gonna be. I don't know how curved the pieces are gonna be. I don't know how they're gonna lock together. This is made by Lamington Drive, which is the same company that makes the original Thousand Colors puzzle and all these other gradient puzzles, uh, the color changing one I just did on camera recently. And I've actually done videos about all four of these puzzles, so they are definitely one of my favorite puzzle companies. So usually I script my videos. I'll do the puzzle and then write out my thoughts and film that afterwards. For this one, since this is such a new and different experience, I figured I would just talk while I'm doing it, bring you along on the process. It's only 540 pieces, which is half as many as the thousand piece puzzles, so I don't think it's going to take me that long, but we'll see. Um, let's go ahead and get this opened up. <laughs> All right, here it is. Let's open it up. Oh, I'm so excited. The size of the box is a little smaller than their other boxes, and it's super simple, just like all of their other boxes, but really nicely designed. Ooh, okay, if we open it up, the pieces, they actually don't look that curved. So let's take a closer look. Oh, they're weird though. Oh my God, they're made of, are they made of plastic? I think these pieces are made of plastic. Ooh, do you hear that sound as they hit the table? That is not the normal puzzle piece sound. Oh my gosh, this is so weird. These pieces are literally made of plastic. I guess that's how they stay together into a sphere. I had no idea. Like, just listen to that sound. Can you hear that? So here is a close up of one of the puzzle pieces. You can see it's really shiny and the back is white plastic. Look at that. I've never seen a puzzle like this before. This is really cool. They actually don't seem that curved. Like there's a slight curve to it, but not as much as I was expecting. And the pieces are all kinds of different shapes. I'm seeing a bunch of these like triangle type of shapes. So we'll see how it goes once I start actually putting it together. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice. In the box, they have a little plastic stand, which I guess the sphere will sit on when you're done. So I'm gonna just put that to the side for now. And then I'm gonna, I feel like I can't even touch the pieces because the sound is gonna pick up on the mic. But I'm gonna flip them all over, sort them into a rainbow just like usual, and then we'll get started on actually putting the sphere together. So the more I look at these pieces, the more impressed I am by them. They're so saturated. Everyone is a slightly different color. Just sorting them out like this, it's so beautiful. It's like a feast for the eyes. <laughs> All right, I'm finished with the sorting. It's not the most neat sorting job I've ever done. The pieces are a little bit of a mess, but honestly, with three cameras going and no camera person, this whole video is gonna be a little bit of a mess. So <laughs> let's start actually putting the puzzle together. This is what we're here for. Ooh, where do I wanna start? That's the question. I think I'm gonna start with the pinks and the purples, maybe, or no, I think I'll do like the reds, the red into orange, that's where I'm gonna start. Ooh, okay, I think I did it. I think I got two pieces together. Check that out. They fit together pretty nicely. They feel really smooth on the back. This is definitely like the thousand colors puzzle where each piece is a slightly different color. So it's not a gradient where they blend into each other. Each piece is a solid 
separate color. I think that once I get going and I can see more of like where the gradient is going, hopefully it'll get easier. Right now I'm just kind of going with like whatever colors look similar and hoping that it works. Also it being 3D is already you know, like I have to hold the whole thing. It's not down on the table. So this is really interesting. <laughs> I'm also noticing how important it is that you like do the entire thing in order. Cause if you have a single missing piece, it's going to be hard to get that put in later. So I really do have to find this piece before I can move too far on to the rest of it. Oh, I think I found it. I think I found it. Yes, there we go. So if a piece doesn't quite fit, it looks like they're unique enough that it's not going to slide in, which is good. Hmm. I say that as I have a piece that fit, but definitely does not go there. Look at those colors, that's not right. This is so fun though. Like it's so much more physical than a normal jigsaw puzzle. I'm definitely gonna be doing this one again off camera someday when I don't have to worry about like angles and lighting. Oh no. Okay, so I did actually end up with one full piece that's missing. I think I see it though. Is this it? Ooh, oh, that is extra satisfying when you can put in like a full piece into here. Okay, so after a few minutes, this is where I'm at. Take a look at that. The pieces are holding together really nicely. You know, I can hold it by one piece and the rest feels really solid. So good job there. Um, I'm definitely seeing a little bit of how the gradient is coming together. You guys, this is so fun. I'm having so much fun with this. I wish this was bigger. I could literally do this all day. Also, I remember in the original Thousand Colors puzzle, the darker parts were definitely the hardest. So I think the bottom of the sphere is gonna be the hardest because it's harder to see the differences in the color. I was just thinking, now that I have a pretty good section put together, once it's done, you could even divide it up into sections and like use it as a bowl. You could put things in here. It stays together really, really well. All right, now that I've got quite a bit done, it's actually getting a little harder to hold and press in the pieces as I go. I think that beginning little bit was like the sweet spot of it being easy. <laughs> Also, how am I gonna get the last piece in? I didn't really think about that. <laughs> I guess we'll find out in a little bit. <laughs> okay, this part on the top is also gonna be a little tricky as I'm getting into these really light colors because again, it just becomes a little harder to differentiate what color is which and what goes where. Yeah, here at the top, I think it literally comes up to a pure, perfect white. Luckily with this puzzle, if you get slightly stuck in one area, you can always just turn it around and work on a different area. I guess that's the case with most puzzles, but um, as you can tell, I'm not just like working my way in one shot all the way around. I keep turning it and working on different sections, but look at how good I'm doing. I can almost like wear it as a hat now. <laughs> oh my God, it almost fell off. Can you imagine if after all that, it just fell and like shattered? Oh no, once again, I'm missing a single piece. <laughs> That's the worst. Oh, I think I found it. False alarm, I found it. So this is not a cheap puzzle, and I'll talk about that a little bit more at the end, but I will say it is definitely worth it. I am like halfway through now, and look at how cool this is. I'm obsessed with literally everything about this. Although I will say my fingers are getting a little tired from like having to really press every piece into place, but it's fine, I'll live. Oh my gosh, I just 
keep dropping pieces. <laughs> I think my hands are officially very tired. My wrist is also starting to get a little tired just from like holding it up and trying to cheat it towards the camera. Oh my God, I need to like actually roll this out. <laughs> I'm very stiff. I wonder if I can, now that I have like more than half of it done, yeah, I could put it down on that thing and then I could just work my way up. That's a thought. I don't know though. I don't think that'll look as nice on camera. So I'm just gonna suffer through the pain and keep going. Puzzling is pain, right? So it's definitely getting pretty heavy. You can see that, you know, trying to hold this up is why my wrist is kind of getting tired, but look at how good I'm doing. Oh my God. I hadn't stopped to like really look at it. I kind of have just been going straight through. Look at how cool that is. Oh, I can't wait to finish. Oh, this is gonna look so cool when it's done. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, check that out. I've officially finished the top white section. So now I have to finish the bottom darker section and all of the blues and then I'll be finished. Oh, this is so cool. I love it so much. <laughs> All right, I'm definitely in the home stretch now. You can see that all I have left is the darker sections. I have officially finished all of these medium colors and it's actually pretty solid, you know? It feels pretty sturdy. All right, everyone, I'm down to the home stretch. I've got just a little bit left to go. This is so exciting. Of course, I'm doing the dark pieces last because that is definitely the hardest part. It's so hard how to tell like what color anything is. I definitely feel like I have gotten in a bit of an arm workout just from like having my arms up and holding things and like really pressing in every single one of these pieces. Oh no, oh no, I dropped a piece inside. Wait, though, how am I gonna put in the last piece? This is already getting tricky and I still have like 10 pieces to go. For these last few pieces, you really do have to go in order so that there's room to get your hand in there to press them into place. All right, three pieces left. How, how do I do this? This whole thing might've been a mistake. How do I get these in? All right, the very, very last piece. Oh my gosh. I guess I just kind of press it down. Sure, that works. <laughs> I did it. Oh wow, this is beautiful. This is amazing. It's really solid. Oh my God, look at that. This is so cool. Now I can get out my little stand. All right, so here it is. So I think it took me about an hour and a half or so in total, which is um, about what I expected. You know, this is not a hard puzzle because as long as you have reasonably okay color vision, you can usually see what the next piece is that you need to put in. And the pieces are unique enough that you can use the shape of the piece to figure out what piece goes next. But I just think this was so fun to do. It's something different. I haven't done a 3D puzzle in a really long time and I've never done one like this. I've only done the like Puzz 3Ds that are buildings. So for the price, you know, it's not the most puzzling time that you'll ever get. 
but you end up with a really beautiful object that you can display in your home. It looks super impressive. As I said, it's really sturdy. You know, I can throw this around and nothing's happening to it. I don't even know how I would take this apart. I think you would really have to like hit it to get it to start breaking apart. <laughs> So it is a few days later and I realized I never actually showed you guys if this thing could be taken apart and I don't know myself so I'm gonna test it out because I am actually curious. Like this is so smooth that you literally can't pull out a single piece. So I'm just gonna hammer onto it. Let's, let's hope it doesn't all like shatter. <laughs> oh, it's moving. Oh, okay, <laughs> I got a piece out. Let's see, I think I'm gonna have to hammer out a second piece. Maybe a few more. Okay, there we go. So it looks like from here, you can like reach your hand in and if you really wanted to, you could take it apart. This would not be a quick process cause they're very much like together. They're very much on there, but it is possible to take it apart and do it again. Just be gentle. You know, this is just plastic. I'm sure it would be pretty easy for some, for these little end bits to snap off. So don't like whack the whole thing in one go because then it might shatter. All right. And now that I've got it back together one more time, let's get back to the real video. So it is pretty expensive. I don't remember the price offhand, but I'll throw it on screen and you can get it from uh, their website, which I will link right down below. So I would definitely recommend this if you're looking for something different and you like gradient rainbow puzzles. And don't forget about all of the other puzzles that this company makes. I have videos for every single one, so I'll put together a playlist right down below. The color changing puzzle was an adventure. <laughs> it took a while, so you can check out that video. So I would love to know if you have ever done this puzzle or if you think it's something you would do or if you would prefer to stick to like flat puzzles. <laughs> and of course, we need a code word for the end of the video so that I know that you watch the whole thing. I think the code word is going to be sphere. All right, thank you so much for watching and keep on puzzling. I'll see you all next time.